Ooh, what's good everybody, it's your boy Josh Devise and welcome back to the channel and today is a big, big, big day. Today, as you can see on your screen, we are taking on the number two ranked Clemson Tigers on the road. So over the course of the last episode and this episode, it's been a lot of recruiting, stuff like that, because we actually had a buy between the Maryland game and this game. Uh, we had Maryland game, bye week, and then this week I just went all the way through to now. Um, so a little update on recruiting. We did get a, we did get a couple more commits. Uh, a couple guys we were looking at didn't commit to us. Uh, one of uh, the top co uh, quarterback we were looking at. Right now we're in a battle for Javon James. Right now we're in the lead. Hopefully he'll commit uh, pretty soon. Uh, we got a lead on quite a few guys, so I'm not too worried. This one is crazy. Stephen Murray, right now we are in a huge recruiting battle with him. Uh, it's been crazy right now. We are I mean, almost getting locked out of the of the option there. He has a visit for us here soon. Uh, I don't know how Middle Tennessee is staying in there, but I don't I don't I don't get that. But uh, okay, and WKU, I don't get it. We had a couple guys like the top quarterback we were looking at committed to a different school. We had a couple guys lock us out. Um, we had a couple guys lock us out. Like uh, one of the teams, one of the guys we were looking at. Um, locked us out which kind of sucks but we did get two more as you can see here jeff murphy uh four-star wide receiver out of burlington kentucky uh committed to us over nebraska notre dame oklahoma and ohio state but we were pretty much the front runner for him the whole way jerry jerry tate committed to, uh to us over lsu uh, texas oklahoma and florida but really it was us and lsu and we just kind of ran ran away with it uh, we just kind of ran away with it a bit and uh yeah, so two more four stars added to the roster. I don't know if we still have any five stars that we're looking at on the board here. Um, I don't think we are. Javon James is the only five star I think that we're looking at still. Yeah, he is. Um, it's hard to get these five stars. I'll tell you what, man, it is not easy to get these five star recruits. But uh, we were able to kind of, we're in a big battle right now. We're the lead right now. He would be a big help. Um, uh, he would be a big help here, especially since, uh, well, I don't know. We'll see how, because uh, if we can get a one-two punch with him and with uh, Jay Sean Corbin, who, by the way, I just checked, has, has a ruptured disc and is out for the season, boys. So he is not going to be playing tonight against Clemson, unfortunately. We did get two, two more commits. So that's three of our 25 opportunities for a scholarship gone and they're uh, they're very solid players as well so but like i said right if we take a look at the injury report jay sean corbin is out for the season with a ruptured disc that happened uh two weeks ago against uh, uh, boston college so it's going to be from here on out for the rest of the season is it, it is going to be uh lawrence toa philly uh in at running back he did pretty well last week against uh the terps uh but they had a very solid defensive line and i guarantee you clemson's is even better so it's going to be a tough game this week man and this is really where it's going to go down as it, it's really this is where it's going to be a chance this is our chance to make the to make the national championship right here if we don't win this game we're most likely not making the national championship unless we have some people lose in front of us uh, if we take a look at the ap top poll here i don't know what i'm doing we take a look at the top 25 poll. It's Bama and Clemson right now. Uh, Ohio State and Iowa State looking in. Uh, North Carolina, then Oregon and Florida State. That's us, right? Uh, so if we can take down uh, Clemson. I mean, we'll be propelled into the top four for sure. And then we just have to have a couple things go our way. And we still have some good teams to get uh, to, to beat. Uh, kind of move on from there, but... The thing is, Clemson, right, isn't that much better. They aren't that much better than Pitt uh, in this game. Pitt was 90 overall pretty much across the board, and we were able to beat them in the first game of the season. Uh, but Clemson, we're on the road here uh, in one of the toughest places to play in a rivalry game. It's going to be big, man. It's going to be big. It's going to be crazy. Uh, this is our first really, really tough road game, so... Other than that, let's go ahead and take a look here. As you guys can see, we do have the number one points per game offense, total offense, number three rush offense, number one pass offense, 
in the country. Easily by far the best offense in the country. Uh, they're kind of middle of the road, middle of the, middle of the top tier. Uh, and they their defense is meh. Our rush defense is the best rush defense in the country, uh, which is incredible. And we, uh, we have some good turnovers as well. But uh, if we take care of the ball, do what we got to do, uh, you know, make the right plays we got to make. And uh, I mean, this is going to be this is going to be a fun one. This is so uh, go ahead and strap in because this is going to be a crazy game here. Uh, so we are we are going to be looking at the uniform options here. We're going with the all black tonight. I don't know who Clemson what Clemson's going to go with. They're going to go with all white. We are going with all black. So uh, here we go, man. I am nervous but excited at the same time this is i mean this is our chance to make the this is our chance to make the playoffs here so best offense in the country uh also by the way jordan travis is actually the favorite right now to win the heisman so take that as how you wish but i'm gonna go ahead and mute my mic and uh, go ahead and turn up the volume here so you guys can listen in Hi everybody, Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. A really interesting matchup of coaches in this game. One guy sort of subscribed to the old school philosophy. It's been ingrained in him from his time as a player. You keep the ball on the ground, you win with toughness, and you follow the rules that have always won football games. The guy on the other sideline, he doesn't believe that. He's pitched out the old book and he's riding his new one. Both of them have been very effective so far. We'll see which one comes out on top today. That's going to do it for us here on the pregame show. NCAA Football 14 action coming at you right now. Fred Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. All right, boys. Clemson's coming out of their tunnel now. DJ Ugalele leading the charge there, as you can see. And uh, as you guys can see, it is a packed house here at night, and it is raining here in Clemson. So it's going to be a tough game, man. It's not going to be easy. These two teams jawing at each other here. Seminoles versus Tigers, rivalry game. It's going to be a crazy one, man. I'm excited. I know the players are excited. And uh, we just got to play the game we know how to play and uh, do the best we can. As you, as you guys can see, we have gone up to number seven in the country uh, through the bye week. We went from, I believe we were 19, uh, no, like 16, I think, something like that. And then we went to 13, and then we went up to seven after a couple teams ahead of us lost. So, Clemson Memorial Stadium. Go ahead and pick heads, and we lose the toss, meaning our offense is most likely. Yep, we are going to be heading out onto the field first here, baby. So... Let's show them what we got. Let's go ahead and uh, let's start this thing off here. So uh, here we go, baby. Let's get this thing underway. We're playing Clemson. Big game. And they stuff our read option. Only a yard gain there. Jordan Travis is going to scramble and he's going to take off. This is something he's going to have to do really, really often here today. Toa Philly with a big run there on first down. 14-yard gain. It's three yards for Lawrence Toa Philly there. I'll take it. It's okay. Ward in the backfield. Hands it off to Ward and he gets trucked. Loss of a yard. They played the read option perfectly there. And he's got Wilson for a first down. Slips it into the gap between the linebacker. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Blitz coming, and he's got Parchment for the first down. Something good, though. Ah, nothing there. That was dangerous of me. And the handoff to Toa Philly here slips in, and he's inside the five. Gain of seven. Crowds going crazy. 
Third and three from the goal line. It's handed off to Toa Philly, and he's in for the touchdown. Lawrence Toa Philly in for the score. So just like that, first drive of the game, we're up. And Clemson, our defense bends but doesn't break. Clemson ends up getting three here on their first drive. And Lawrence Toa Philly, second and inches now after the read option. Nice read. And Toa Philly breaks it big past the 50. Go first and 10 from the Clemson. It looks like about 40, 48. And Travis is going to take off. And he fumbled the ball, but it goes out of bounds. I tried to get out of bounds, couldn't do it quick enough. And he has Keyshawn Helton for the first down. And he's got parchment, and he's in for the touchdown! Calling the audible at the last second, slipping the ball in there, and Jordan Travis has another touchdown. And Jordan Travis got himself a touchdown. And the defense comes up with a big stop here, boys. And we're up 14 to three on Clemson. And Jordan Travis reads it the wrong way, and it's going to be a loss of two. Again, they've been really containing him. They understand that in the air here. And he's got parchment. A little bit of a confusion. Maybe slipped on the turf there, but it is going to be a completion there. And the screen for Toa Philly. They missed the block, but Toa Philly is able to to break the tackle and he gets a 19-yard reception there on the screen. Favorite settling in in the pocket here. Scrambling, rolling out here, and he's going to just take off and get to the sideline for a first down 12-yard rush for Jordan Travis. And Toa Philly with a nice 8-yard rush on first down. had it I had it I had the wheel route open and I hesitated I didn't want to throw it I didn't want to throw a uh, pick stack the box and they won't be able to get it as Ward able to get to the edge there Treshawn Ward with his first carry of the day he's got parchment is hit hard parchment hit hard there after the eight yard reception And Toa Philly unable to get anywhere. Does get two yards. But he's going to be inches short here the first. They don't stack the box here. I'm not sure why they're not stacking the box. Kind of confusing, but... Oh, linebacker comes off the edge. Screaming off the edge. Like we said, their defense has been struggling this year. And Toa Philly goes way backwards. Trying to make something happen. And just outside the reach of McDonald there. So we're going to have to settle. Or it's third. No, no. And he's got Parchment, but he drops the football. Parchment was wide open, but he drops it. Let's go ahead and take a look, see, make sure we can get this field goal and go up 17-3. to three. And it's up. And it is good. <sighs> Man. But Clemson goes backwards there, and they're not able to get anything, and they turn the ball over. And Jordan Travis tripped up there. Scrambling around. Just throws this one away. 
Mackenzie Milton now in the game. Sprained ankle for Jordan Travis. He's going to be out for two quarters, so we're going to have to make do with Mackenzie Milton. You cannot make this stuff up, everybody. But he has parchment for a first down. So we are going to keep Mackenzie Milton in the game. I don't want Jordan Travis to get hurt for the regular season, especially on this crazy Heisman game he's got going. And Toa Philly gets stuffed there. So he has to stand in there and take a hit to get the ball off if he needs. But he is going to try to scramble, get the edge, but he's going to be shoved out of bounds. And it's batted down by R.J. Mickens at the goal line. And he won't! I knew I should have taken the points, dude. But our defense comes up big. Our defense has played out of their minds tonight. And he's got... Hoytier, Hoytier. I don't know who that is. First reception of the year for him. The blitz coming. Mackenzie Milton realizes it and just dumps it off to Toa Philly. Little sprained ankle, so he. I didn't want to risk it here. And it's picked. Parchment didn't turn around quick enough. I thought he was gonna turn around there, but he didn't. And the timing route doesn't work, but Clemson gets stuffed again. How about that? Clemson coming up with nothing once again on offense. Shoot. And Mackenzie Milton going with a four yard rush there. Kenzie Milton tripped up in the backfield. The blitz coming. And it should have been picked off, but Mackenzie Milton, 3 for 8, 47 yards and a, t and a pick right now. He has been running the offense decently, but that pick in the end zone hurt. Anyways, it is halftime. We're up 17-3. Clemson is still very much in this game. Our defense has been playing out of their flipping minds. So right now we are up 17. We are up 14, uh, 17 to 3. They get ball to start the half and they go three and out. How about that, huh? Jeez, oh, Louise, man. How about that? Mackenzie Milton does come back out to start the second half as the starter and Toa Philly gets stuffed. Makes this very, very difficult. And almost picked off again. And he's got Wilson. Ontario Wilson making his presence known there on third down. And Toa Philly going to get five yards there. We need to be able to get this rush game going a little better. And off to Toa Philly. Gets jammed at the line. And Toa Philly gets stuffed. And Clemson driving. But no cigar. No cigar. No dice on that one. And he takes the sack. We can't get we can't get blown up here. Toa Philly gets about four, trying to get back to the line of scrimmage. Oh, 
Oh, that was a dangerous throw there on on third down. That's close to the end zone, but and we go three and out again. But the defense holding them? No, they do not. Where's Jordan Travis? And he's got Wilson! Ontario Wilson! What a 40-yard reception that was! He's got Toa Philly for a big nine-yard run. And he's got Toa Philly in for the score! We beat the Blitz! We catch them lacking! Oh, that was Jordan Travis! Jordan Travis comes back in the game, throws a touchdown! <laughs> oh, baby! But Jordan Travis back in the game, and we go up 24-10, to and the defense gets us stuff. As you can see, Jordan Travis, Heisman boy, back in the game. And Toa Philly goes for nothing there. Ah, McDonald break. Uh, McDonald gets it broken up there. Toa Philly gets denied there, so we're gonna be forced to punt it away. And Clemson goes down, scores a touchdown, and goes for two. Two minutes left to go here tonight. And boy, oh boy, is this a close game right now. Eight-point game. And Toa Philly gets only two. He's and he's got Wilson! Ontario Wilson! He's got him on the run! What a play by Jordan Travis! Jordan Travis going down early in this game. Luckily we luckily we built up a little bit of a buffer at least early on in this game, but oh my goodness. I don't want to do a read option because I don't want to risk him getting hurt because we are on the verge of beating the second best team in the country and we have a very real chance of um we have a very, very very, very real chance of this shit getting big. No, he didn't set his feet! And he's got Wilson for a first down, and he fumbles it. What? Oh. Throw it away. I don't want him taking any hits right now. Why are you going backwards? Oh my goodness, man. Travis scrambling. Travis scrambling and he gets it! Take, get, get out of bounds and that is the game, baby! Florida State coming up with the win here on the road against Clemson. How about them Seminoles? I almost forgot, but we got it. And just like that... We have done it. Florida State has knocked off number two Clemson on the road. How about that? Mackenzie Milton came in, stepped up, didn't really do a whole lot. Um, DJ Ugulele's offense got hardcore stuffed in the first half. Toa Philly, 19 carries for 96 yards. Man. Definitely was not easy. Just like that, though, we take them down 26 to 18, our lowest scoring game of the year. We said this was going to be a battle. That game could have gotten out of hand very quickly, but sh shout out to Clemson's defense for, you know, 
holding us. As you can see, Mackenzie Milton, 7 for 13 for 117 yards, no touchdowns, one pick, and got sacked twice. Jordan Travis, 100, uh, 170 rating there, 15 for 20, 170 yards, two touchdowns, no picks, uh, no sacks. Jordan Travis had 67 yards on eight attempts. Again, he was out for a majority of this game today. Uh, Toa Philly, 19 for, uh, 19 for 96 on that one. Um, Receiving-wise, Wilson having a big day again. Ontario Wilson, 5 for one, five for 124, no touchdowns. But Parchman and even Toa Philly got in there with a touchdown. So uh, Toa Philly got two total touchdowns today. Um, however, Parchment did drop a ball in the end zone. I believe that drop, I mean, that touchdown could have really forced this thing into a, into get ugly. But um, as we exit the game here, that's going to be it for this episode, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to smash that like button that we just beat the number two ranked team in the country, Clemson Tigers. And uh, yeah, um, comment down below also what you guys think our ranking is going to be here after we uh, won this game. Um, are we going to be three, four? Just go up one spot to six. Uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think. And be sure to hit that sub button, hit that like button. Uh, be sure to tell your friends about my videos. It'll help me out a lot. So other than that, guys, I thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.